And uh, it looks like Blake Olsen is our top European qualifier. Uh, so if, uh, if it ended, yeah, so far, but uh, our FCP Euro knockout qualifying. Remember, FCP Euro contingency, $1,000 purse for uh, first, second, and third highest finishing Europeans, and 10 grand cash overall. Well, unfortunately, Rick Leiter, not a European car, but he's gonna try to go for it. The NSC vehicle coming down into that first inside clip, very tight there. So contrary to what we just saw with Canapic, ooh, just what I was gonna say, nailing those inside clips, well, nailed it literally, not uh, precisely, as Look Lighter brings it across the finish line. Not too shabby on that second outside zone, but with that big, you know, you never have a second chance to make that first impression. It's true. Or that first initiation. Let's watch the replay, Jared. See what happened out here with Adam Licklider. He, he wasn't as accurate going through the infield, hitting those clips. The flick right here, pretty solid initiation. Not to a high degree of angle initially. And then you can see him pouring a little bit more on. Coming by inside clip one, a little bit off there. And then inside clip two, coming in a little too tight, hitting it with the front right, which is a pretty significant hit. You know, we're generally looking at Maybe them hitting with the you know the left headlight or something like that, but hitting it um, that much will be a deduction online for sure. Licklider waiting for his score. Next up, another California kid, Andy Hatley. He's been working on his car for a while. Kind of suffered some uh, setbacks last year, and then great to see him bringing out this car, this ride. Nicknamed this car the Habanero, spicy one, the goat pepper, the Habanero. Licklider with a 63, 63 for Alex Licklider.